this Luke 24 and 29 kills it. But they constrained him saying, abide with us, for it is toward evening. And we know the word evening come from the Hebrew word Arab, which that's what you get the word Arab, which is Arab, which means when the sun go down. And the day is far spent, meaning that, that the day the day is about to be over with, man. The sun coming, bruh. It's toward the evening, man. All right, now let's go to Genesis. Let's go to the Torah. And let's look at the cycle. Genesis 1 and 5. And God called the light day. That word day come from the Hebrew word yawam, which we know you have day time and you have... Uh, you have you have daylight and you have night light. You know what I'm saying? That's in Jeremiah. We're gonna get that later though. And God called the light day, right? And he called the darkness night. Because you have the word day can be used in different ways. Is you know, you have day, uh daytime. And you have nighttime, which nighttime is <laughs> nighttime. The word day mean uh, time. <laughs> the word you want mean time. Let me just go up here, man. Slot. I hope the battery don't die. I should have. I should have charged this. I mean, but that, that Luke 24 and 29. Yeah, let me go back to this Luke 24 or 29. But they constrained him saying, abide with us. Far spent. So they said the day is far spent. When, when the sun was about to go down. Meaning the new day was about to come in. They didn't say that. They, they, did they say for it is toward the morning. And the day is far spent. Did they say, hey, brother, the sun about to come up. Ock. The sun about to come up. Ock. The day about to be over with, brother. The sun about to come up. No. He said, it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. Not as toward morning, and the day is far spent. All right? Genesis 1 and 5. And the, and the Most High called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Meaning, no, that's, that's, how you tell, that's how we can tell time. You tell time by the sun going down. Okay, all the way from the uh, sun rising and being out. So this is dealing with the evening is dealing with the type, the period from when the sun is uh goes down, when the sun is down, when it's darkness, all the way to uh you know what I'm saying when the morning starts, when the sun comes up, but it don't end just when the sun comes up. You got to wait all the way that whole morning. Because the word morning is a stomach block. Let me go to the word morning. I forgot. That's that's the main. Uh, 6, 7 uh, a.m. to, to 12, 12 p.m. That's the that's the morning. Well, what about what about three three o'clock in the day? Is that the is is that is that the morning? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna show you why I say that because the morning is dealing with the period from when the sun is out, man. That's all it's saying. <sighs> If your brothers don't know that. And God called the light day in darkness. He called night in the evening in the morning with the first day, meaning when it was when the, when it was dark and when it was uh, light outside. The word light, it comes from the Hebrew word of war. Day mean time. Right. The word day time. Day, time, as opposed to night. Yep, because you got different forms of day. You have, uh, you have daylight. You have daytime and nighttime. The word day just mean time. Twenty four hour from the Hebrew word bakor. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, Israel. I'm trying to rush it because I got six percent on this battery, man. The word morning. The evening. We know the word evening comes from the Hebrew word arab, which is when the sun is down. Then you got bakor. The whole period when that light is out, that's the morning, man. Okay? Let's go to these scriptures. And God called the uh, light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was the first day. So we see the first day was from when the sun was, uh, when it was dark, 
and when it was daytime, meaning when the sun came out. Now let's see how we get to the second day. God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning was the second day. That's why we say it's from evening to evening, because look, the first day started at evening, and the second day begun at evening. Now let's see when the third day began. Did the third day begin in the morning? Let's see. Genesis 1 and 13. And the evening and the morning were the third day. So we got to the third day starting in the evening. Let's see when we get to the fourth day. Genesis 1 and 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. So if the morning was the beginning of a day, the fourth day should have started in the morning and not in the evening. Let's see how we get to the fifth day. Genesis 1, 23. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Yeah. Let's get to the sixth day. God saw everything he made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Why? Because evening and the evening is a day, man. The day don't begin, the new day don't begin until the evening. Now let me get some other uh head choppers real quick. Damn. Kind of salty because I only got three seconds. I got three percent. Then I got Leviticus 23. Verse 27, for the Day of Atonement. Also, on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a Day of Atonement. Meaning, that word atonement is when you purge your sin. Okay? Uh, your one caparium. It shall be a holy convocation unto you. You shall afflict your souls. So, you're supposed to afflict yourself. Meaning, suffer. And offer an offer made by fire unto your house. That offering, that's that, 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 that suffering. It shall be a Sabbath rest. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day. Right? So, we we're on the ninth day. He said we're going to afflict our souls on that same ninth day. When? At evening. So, we didn't uh, start, start the affliction until evening, which is the tenth day. Because the tenth day came. We didn't start that. Uh, we didn't start afflicting our souls in the morning. Come on, man. I'm going to go get some other head ones. Leviticus 11 and 27. Whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four. Those are unclean unto you, right? So any dog or bear or whatever hell, lion, that goes on four, most I said they're unclean to us. Not to just touch them if they're alive, but what? Whoso touches their carcass, meaning if they're a dead body. You should two and seven. And when the sun is down, he shall be clean. Because that's the new day. Deuteronomy 16 and 6. But that place, Lord thy God, shall choose to place his name. Thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at evening. We didn't sacrifice the Passover in the morning. At the going down of the sun. Deuteronomy 20. You know, I got 1% Israel. So he'll wash himself with water. And when the sun is down, he shall come into the camp again. Because that's when the new day became. See that? He wasn't able to come back into the camp until when the sun came down. Judges, Judges 9 and 3, no, 33. And it shall be that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, right? So the morning is dealing when the sun come up, all right? All the way until it go down. That's that's the whole period of that time, that day. Thou shall rise early. All right, then we're going to read Ephesians 4 and 26. Be ye angry. And sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Why? Because the sun going down is when the day in, man. And the new day come in. That's when the new day come in and the previous day in. That's why he was saying, don't, don't be, don't, uh, you need to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let the sun go down and be in, 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 in your iniquity, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why in the uh, verse, in, in Ephesians 4 and 25, what it say? It says, uh, speak the truth every man to his neighbor. You know what I'm saying? And so the truth is the um, is the law. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not teaching the truth, you, you, you're you sinning. You know what I'm saying? And it says, don't let the sun go down upon your wrath, man. So get it together before the sun go down, man. That easy. That easy. He said, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Meaning, don't let the day end like that. Don't leave the day, don't end the day on a fucked up note. 
Deuteronomy 16 and 6. But the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name in, there thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at evening. So we celebrate the Passover when the sun went down. Why we ain't celebrate it in the morning? That's the new day. He said, at the going down of the sun. Okay? Deuteronomy 23 and 11. But, okay? But it shall be when the evening coming on, meaning when the evening about to come, he shall wash himself with water. That, he basically saying, wash yourself with water before the sun go down. And when the sun is down, now the sun is down, he shall come into the camp again. New day started. You've been refreshed. All right. Judges 14 and 18. And the man of the city said unto him on the seventh day. So you had a certain man speaking on the seventh day. Before the sun went down, man. To start. <coughs> you know the word. Your wom just mean. They just mean time, man. You have time period from when the sun is out and you have a time period when the sun is not out. That's why it's 24 hours in a day. And a full your wom. But you have twenty you have twelve hours of, of, of time when the sun is out. And that's that's daytime. This is Luke 24 and 29. But they constrain him saying, Abide with us, for it is toward the evening. Hey brother, the sun about to go down. And the day is far spent. Wait a minute. If the evening don't start a day, then why is they talking about the day about to be over with? Cut. Hey. Let me, let me let me get the cut. Let me get the cut, man. I got something for you niggas, man. <laughs> man. Then I gotta hurry up and go to work. This some BS, man. Okay, we hit you with the summer ray, man. Yeah, brother, some brothers think the morning is only dealing with when the sun just come up and that's just the morning. No, you you got from when the sun go up all the way till it come down. That's that whole period is, is considered the morning because the, they translated it as morning. But really, it should be um, basically when the sun is out. Because <laughs> that's what it's really saying. Hey, that, that, that Luke 24 and 29 just cut, man. It says, and when the evening was coming. Let's read that again. But they constrain him saying, abide with us. For it is toward the evening. The word toward is synonymous with near. It is near evening. And the day is far spent. Far spent. Meaning a lot of time. It's about to be over with. That easy, man. It's like, you always say evening, in the morning, the first day. Let's see when the second day started. And the evening and the morning were the second day. So it's here, it's telling you on the second day, it started at evening, man. Let's see when the third day started. In the evening, let's see when the fourth day started. In the evening, let's see when the fifth day started. In the evening, let's see when the sixth day started. And God saw that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening <laughs> was the sixth day, man. It's always evening, 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 evening. Evening is always first. That's why it's, it starts at evening. And it ends at evening. Because that new, that new cycle is coming back. I mean, I just don't see how somebody cannot see this, man. I mean, I do see those, man. The Most High says, you know what I'm saying, in Ezekiel. When a righteous man commit iniquity, the Most High said he'll put a stumbling block before you. I didn't say that. That's what Yahweh said. Okay. Let me read this. Leviticus 11 and 27. And whosoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that goeth on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoso touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. I'm about to go to this Leviticus. Now, that was a cut. He says you're gonna be unclean until the sun go down. Why would why wouldn't he unclean until the morning start? Then he'll be clean when the morning comes. 
Hey, brother, the sun came up. Brother, you clean now, I. Right? <coughs> Damn, that's some bullshit, though, man. This is this is what's happening right now, man. Dude, it's 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 summer right, man. That Leviticus eleven, I can go to the whole Leviticus eleven chapter and it kills it. Cause it always tell you, hey brother, don't self wash off all your flesh and water. Don't never say, hey, bro, you come back in the camp in the morning. I then you'll be clean. Let me get this. Let me get this Leviticus. And you know, it's it's a, it's a lot of people actually teaching this doctrine, man. And they think they're right. It, what what to you when all men speak well of you, man? And I, I don't think no, it ain't gonna be too many brothers speak well of this video. I already know it. But you know, we don't do the work to be uh seek seek uh seek love, man. I'm not gonna trim my way to seek love from nobody, man. Alright, now this is dealing with fucking flies. It says, uh, but you don't even know the laws on the flies, babe. We're going to have to go into that. There's laws on flies. There's certain bugs we can eat. I don't eat bugs, though. Hey, they did it on Lion King. <laughs> Them bugs looked like bang on Lion King. You ain't you can't lie. They was eating them like they bang though, didn't they? I forgot. I forgot what I was about to get. Yeah, I wanted to get a picture of a fly that uh, cause it tell you the flies that's unclean, the ones that got wings and got four legs, meaning like they got four legs, like. It says, but all other flying living abomination is. I don't know if they got four, six, or what, they got different kinds. You got people that be cooking, letting flies touch all over their food, man. Then they eating it. That's why this place is finished, man. Even at my job, they had a little cookout or whatever. And they was cooking the food. I had to tell the crackers, y'all letting flies get on the burgers. Yeah, even the restaurants be doing that. Like, this place, this place unclean, man. And for these things, ye shall be unclean. Whosoever touches their carcass of them shall be unclean until the evening. Let's look at this word, evening. I know it's I robbed. So you see a brother, if a fly or whatever uh, unclean bug touch you, same word, I robbed. This same word is used in Genesis, man. You be unclean until the sun go down. Leviticus 11.25. And, and, and this is too many scriptures. There it ain't no precept that says from morning to morning. None. You will not find morning to morning ever in the Bible. And whosoever beareth all of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes. You wash your clothes, right? And be unclean until the evening. Wait a minute. To the morning or not. To the morning, brother. That's when the day begin. And it's not cloven foot, foot, foot it, nor chew it the cud, or clean unto you. Everyone that touches them shall be unclean. And whosoever, and, and whatsoever go upon his paws, you touch their dead body, you want clean until the sun go down. You got to wash yourself. He shall, he that bears the carcass of them shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until evening. Now the morning, ock. The morning, Ock. <laughs> All right, like, I'm done with this, man. This has been slaughtered. Unclean until the evening. You can man, read Leviticus 11, man. I ain't got I got to go to work, man. Y'all willing, man. Y'all make it. Car bugging out. Oh. Let me get this Psalms 104 and 19 also. I think I could use that one, too, because it had, it had some uh, meat on that bone. What up, B? 
Zaza. Zaza. Seven. I'm trying to let this thing load up. You, you we celebrate David told me that evening. Dev, uh, the Passover, even when the sun went down. The Passover is not a, uh, but yeah, you, every day is the evening. You don't just, oh, no, nah, on the Day of Atonement, we just did it for the Day of Atonement evening in the evening. <laughs> that was just for the Day of Atonement, I, but regularly, brother, it's just, it's, 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 uh, morning to morning. If you if you really believe that it's from morning to morning, it's only twelve hours. You you just you're not even counting uh, nighttime. You know how many hours we'll be missing on this earth if it, we was only counting from when the sun rose to when it went down, and then we gotta wait till the sun rise again to start counting. Oh man, that's silly. Psalms one hundred four nineteen. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night. Right? Because the nighttime come when the sun go down. Wherein all beasts of the forest do, do, do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from Yahweh. The sun ariseth. Right? They gather themselves together and lay the, down in the dens. Man goeth forth unto his work. What did it say? Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor and to his labor until the evening <laughs> man going forth unto his work and his labor until the evening man because that's when, that's when the new day begins what they say what they call it the nine to five mm -hmm. hey man all praises to your howl man Baha Shama Mashiach Yahweh Shah.